Hello, welcome to Emerald Soaps. My name is Emily. Today I'm making a lavender sage cold process soap. And this is the fragrance I'm using from Nature's Garden. It smells amazing. Um, lavender is not even one of my favorite scents. It's a little bit strong for me. But when they cut it with that sage, it just, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, so my oils are coconut oil, um, there's some cocoa butter in here, olive oil, and castor oil. Uh, to my oils, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of kale and clay. This stuff right here. A couple good tablespoons. This makes the soap bars feel silky and provides slip. Uh, when you're rubbing it on your skin, it's just a nice, silky feel. And it's very gentle on your skin as well. I also have some, well, let me go over my colorants here because I had to mix two different greens together to get a sage green. And I think I did a pretty good job. That looks like sage green to me. And then the purple is Purple Vibrance from Nurture Soap. That's how it looks. <clears throat> and then to get that sage green, I mixed together three parts new leaf mica powder and one part kombu green. The new leaf is really bright and this is like the darkest green mica I've ever seen. <laughs> So I did, you know, these little spoons here, I did three heaping spoons of this and one of this. Um, and I dispersed those in olive oil. I'm also going to add coconut milk to this soap. And I have my lye solution over here with some sodium lactate in it. Okay, let me blend in my kale and clay here. <laughs> And then this is my lye solution with the um, sodium lactate. That's just some stuff, <laughs> some titanium dioxide. I was master batching yesterday. I'm trying to get three soaps done today. Things got a little messy. Put this in the corner. And go ahead and blend this soap batter together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my coconut milk. It's a little chunky because I, um, I didn't blend it together beforehand. And I need a spatula. Darn it, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and scrape out this container with the coconut milk in it. Get all of that good coconut milk in there. Makes the soap so creamy and smooth. I'm thinking of adding it to all of my soaps because I am really enjoying coconut milk. All right. Come on. <laughs> So the design I'm going for is a purple and green, um, kind of like a zigzag squirrel, a straight up and down, and I'm using my tall skinny mold. I want to put purple, green, then purple, and just make like straight up and down lines. It look kind of funky and 
I'm, I'm going for a more modern kind of look. Hopefully it works out the way it's pictured in my head. <laughs> Never really does, does it? Okay. So, let me check. Yep, definitely have some trace here. I'm going to put my fragrance in now. I don't really know what this fragrance is going to do. I did not test batch it. <laughs> um, but it had really good reviews. And I love the smell so much. I was like, just go for it. Go for a nice big batch. Let me just stir it in at first here. Seems to be behaving. Sometimes fragrance oils can cause your soap to seize or rice or accelerate, discolor, all kinds of weird stuff. So you gotta be careful sometimes. I think we're okay. thinned out my trace the fragrance so I'm very happy with that I'm gonna put my stick blender on the side <clears throat> and separate this batter from my colors now my batch makes more than what my skinny mold can hold so what I'm going to do is also make a couple little round soaps. Little round ball soaps. So let's get that almost filled to the top. Now I'm going to put the sage green colorant in here. Probably don't need all of that. Greens are kind of weird. Um, the green colorant will kind of morph and then once it's fully saponified in about 24 hours, it'll come back. It's going to turn brown and then it's going to come back to its regular color. <laughs> That is a pretty sage green. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my purple. Get all of it in there. We scoop some of this in to uh, mix it up and Get it loose. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. It's herbaceous. <laughs> and I really, you know, this is a unisex scent for sure. I really think anyone with a nose <laughs> and a sense of smell will enjoy this fragrance. It's just wonderful. It's herby, maybe a little bit spicy. Oh, it's, it's nice. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and blend up this purple. Okay, so I blended the purple to a nice thick trace. I want it to be a little thicker so the green doesn't float down to the bottom. I want to layer it and then do the hanger. Sorry for the banging. Okay. Let me just make sure everything is well mixed here. There's some soap batter on the edge. Okay. 
It's a nice purple. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my mold. Oh, this is the ball mold I was telling you about. So we're gonna do some balls and this thing here. <clears throat> Trying to get it in frame. <laughs> it's a mess over here. Okay. So I'm going to pour about a third of the way up. Okay, now I'm going to use my spatula and just kind of Pour the, oh, it thickened up a lot, Jesus. Okay, oh my God, okay. Get it in there. Not too thick of a layer, just lay. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's all I'm gonna put in there. Wipe it off the sides. Kind of level that out a little bit with my spatula. Completely cover the purple. Okay. Wipe the spatula off again. I feel the need to tap this a little bit. Put some more purple on top of that. Try to get that up to the top. Okay. Now, tap it down again. Okay, now taking my hanger, I'm going to go down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up. And that's it. Don't mess with it too much. Okay, stick that on the side, tap it again, whoa, that is why we wear eye protection, <laughs> splashed straight up, which also means I got rid of a good air bubble, alright, so that's it for this mold, I'm going to put that onto the side there. And now we have the little ball mold. Um, I need to mix the green up a little bit. Okay, so it got real thick and chunky. Not chunky, but it's still really smooth, but it's it's really thick. So I'm gonna try to get some into this little hole <laughs> oh goodness this is gonna be messy 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 oh it's too thick to pour in here oh my gosh oh what a mess um i might have to rethink this because this is the best um like the thinnest pouring spout i have oh my god <laughs> okay i have to rethink this okay 
All right, so I went ahead and got a different mold. And I'm gonna try to see how this is turning kind of like a dark pea color green. It's the, it's, it's not gonna stay that color. It's gonna come back to a pretty sage color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> fill these. like half and half, purple and green. Oh my goodness, so thick. <clears throat> this is that fragrance oil that accelerated on me. It's just weird, because at first it um, made my batter nice and thin when I first put it in there. But after it sat for a couple minutes, literally just a couple minutes, it started to thicken up. I wanna scrape all of this pea soup out of here. <laughs> I have a lot of purple left, so. Oh my goodness. So now I'm thinking the one in the tall skinny mold is not really going to look how I pictured it. Um, it's a lot thicker. So I don't think that's going to come out with the nice thin zigzaggy lines that I was thinking of. But it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Okay. So now we've got quite a bit of purple left. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this like next to the green. Oh my goodness, so thick. Okay. Oops. I'm going to smack this down as well. Okay. So I'm just kind of shaking it, tapping it. <laughs> I want everything to be nice and solid, no air bubbles. Okay, and I have a skewer. I'm gonna, there's a pointy side and there's a blunt side. I don't wanna pierce my mold. So I'm gonna use the blunt side and I'm gonna clean these up a little bit. Go all the way around and then do a zigzag, a little swirl. And when they come out of the mold, they can be cleaned up even more. So if you've got OCD like I do, and this is driving you crazy because it looks like a mess, <laughs> don't worry. It's, it's going to look much better when it's all done. <laughs> I'll wipe my fingers off. Got a paper towel so that I can clean the skewer as I go. Let me come to this one here. I'm keeping it tight, keeping the zigzags close to each other. Wipe it off. Go to the next one.
Okay. Now I'm going to kind of shake it and tap it again. That one is driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, and then that one's bigger than the rest, but oh, oh well. All right, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you the unmolding of this and the cutting of the tall and skinny. Okay, so it's about 24 hours later. I'm going to unmold the uh, lavender sage soap. And I also have the other one that I'm going to cut up. I put these in the freezer because this was a little bit soft. And I just wanted to uh, get it done. So with these silicone molds, you just got to pull and just kind of release the sides and let some air in there. I'm going to turn it over. And press. Hmm. They look a little messy. But I can always clean them up with my soap beveler and planer. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Let me just get these pressed out. Notice that green came back to like a light sage green. It didn't remain that ugly brownish green color. Smells amazing. Uh, I just cannot give this fragrance enough credit. <laughs> I mean, it really is a good one. Okay, so I'm going to go get the tall skinny loaf so I can cut that one up for you. Be right back. Okay. So I'm just going to trim these little edges here. <clears throat> this is the second time I've used my Tall Skinny Mold from Nurture Soap. And I have to say it is kind of hard to get the soap out of that silicone liner because it's so deep. I don't know. I'm kind of struggling with it. <clears throat> And my uh, end pieces are coming out a little messy. This soap is kind of soft though, so I can't really fault the mold too much. All right. Let me cut a little sliver off the end here. That is so cute. I'm really happy with that. I'm trying to get a better camera angle. Actually, I'm filming on my phone because I don't like my camera. <laughs> okay. So there it is. I'm pretty happy with that because the predominant scent is lavender and then you get that herby sage. So I just wanted a little bit of green mostly lavender it doesn't look how I pictured it in my head <laughs> but I'm still happy with it I think it's pretty cute and it represents the fragrance well I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up I will need to clean up the edges because they look a little thick. I'm just going to plane that right off and they'll be nice and smooth and even. But I usually don't plane my soaps until they've cured for a couple weeks and they've gotten a little bit harder. Then I'll go ahead and clean them up and let them continue curing uh, before I sell them. So I'll leave a link for the Etsy shop in my description box below. Please check it out.
still a very new company trying to grow my business here. That one is really cute. It's just a nice thin line of green. Now I've made quite a few sales. Not on Etsy. Because Etsy is kind of um, a clogged marketplace. It's, <laughs> there's so many soap makers on there. Um, but I have made a lot of sales in person. And even on Instagram and Facebook. It's kind of crazy. But my soaps do well. You know, it's just Etsy is kind of tough to get it going. I need to tighten this up a bit. It feels kind of loose. Okay, this is my last cut. I'm really happy with this. It's cute and it smells wonderful. Got a couple little end pieces. I'm going to cut those up for samples. Please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of soap videos coming up. And thank you for watching.